Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm talking about my favorite flash for the Fujifilm X-Series cameras. Specifically, I'm talking about the Fujifilm EF-X8. I was originally going to get this flash on Amazon, but it was $47 at the time, so I ended up getting it off B&H Photo for $40 and free shipping. One of my favorite things about this flash is that it's powered by Select X series cameras, which means you don't have to have specific batteries for this flash. So I do love how compact this flash is, and it puts out a great light. One problem that I had with this flash is that whenever I decreased my exposure in camera in manual mode, the viewfinder didn't reflect that the flash was compensating for it. So I had to go into screen settings and then change the preview exposure white balance in manual mode to off and then make sure to turn that back on. Also, I'm using the Fujifilm X-T5 with this flash. Another thing that I love about this flash is that it has a single button which controls the locking me mechanism for taking on and off the flash. So I recently went to Copper Mountain for a friend's birthday party and this flash was perfect. I was able to slip it in my pocket and when I had it on the camera it was hardly noticeable. Here are some shots. <laughs> miss me go on and say i told you so yeah now i know the straight life is no go yeah, i was wrong i tried to get domesticated but yesterday i finally could take it and i was gone i probably should have told my wife but the minute i saw the life I just dug out my boots and threw out the fanny pack Sold the plan and got my old holly back Cranked up the bike and flew out the cul-de-sac Straight to the nearest bar ACDC on the jukebox back and back Got so drunk I sing it like a man Overall, this is a very affordable, compact flash that I think works perfect if you don't want to carry around a beast of a flash on top of your camera. So if you do already have this flash, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to know what you think about it. But also, if you have a different recommendation for a Fujifilm flash, feel free to also drop that below. I'd love to hear about it. All right, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them below, and I'll try to get back to you.